Biography of John Singleton Screenwriter and director John Singleton's Boys and the Hood led to an Academy Award nomination for Best Director, making him the first African American to earn the distinction. Who was John Singleton? John Singleton was born on January 6, 1968, in Los Angeles, California. His 1991 feature film debut, Boys and the Hood, garnered an Academy Award nomination for Best Director. Singleton followed the win with Poetic Justice in 1993 and Higher Learning in 1995. Subsequent works include 1997's Rosewood, 2000's Shaft remake and 2001's Baby Boy. In 2005, he produced Hustle and Flow and directed Four Brothers. The filmmaker died on April 29, 2019, after suffering a stroke. Profile John Daniel Singleton was born on January 6, 1968, in Los Angeles, California. He grew up in South Central Los Angeles and his work as a film director, producer and screenwriter depicted these turbulent, often violent roots. Singleton studied screenwriting at the University of Southern California School of Cinematic Arts, winning three writing awards from the university, which led to a contract with Creative Artists Agency during his sophomore year. In 1991, Columbia Pictures bought his script for Boys and the Hood and budgeted it at $7 million. The film portrayed life in crime-ridden South Central L. A. and was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Director in 1991, making Singleton the first African American and the youngest person ever nominated for the award. The film also garnered a nomination for Best Original Screenplay. Singleton followed the win with Poetic Justice in 1993 and Higher Learning in 1995. Both films examined modern race relations, and while they enjoyed success at the box office, they were not as highly praised by critics as his debut effort. Subsequent works include 1997's historical drama Rosewood, 2000's Shaft remake starring Samuel L. Jackson and 2001's Baby Boy. In 2005, he produced the critically acclaimed indie film Hustle and Flow and directed the box office hit Four Brothers. Portrait of a Young Black American Columbia finally agreed, giving Singleton a $7 million budget. The film, which had its first screening at the Cannes Film Festival in the spring of 1991, follows three characters at two different stages in their lives, first at the age of 10, then at age 17. At the beginning of the film, Trey Stiles, the protagonist, is sent by his mother, Reva, to live with his father, Furious, in hopes that the unruly boy will learn to be a man. In his new neighborhood Trey meets two half-brothers who live across the street, Ricky and Doughboy. Together, these three characters grow up in an environment where, as David Denby described in New York Magazine, all day, jets heading for LAX come in low over the small tracked houses, at night, police helicopters join in the din, training down their lights. The sun shines regularly, but the little boys play football with a corpse lying nearby, and a teenage girl tries to read through the rattling of gunfire. What differentiates the direction of the three characters' lives is that Trey has a father who is present and strong and concerned. Furious's program for Trey, as Stark delineated it, is simple, look people straight in the eye, don't respect anyone who doesn't respect you, stay clean, work hard. His guidance ensures that Trey resists the deadly temptations of the street and becomes responsible. 2001 commenced the second decade in Singleton's career. And he planned to make the second decade as thought-provoking as the first. I want to keep challenging black people, he told Ebony. I want people to have a sense of what we are as a people. I want to keep making people think. It's my responsibility. In April 2019, Singleton suffered a stroke and was placed in a medically induced coma at Cedars sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. He passed away on April 29, 2019.